guys i welcome you all to daily trends right here on peanuts news as i'm speaking to you right now there is a sudden demise of rebecca iku melo yes somebody is asking who is she she happens to be one of the greatest fans of um asake brown yes that is just last weekend there was a concert that was held in london and during the concert a lot of people were present yes big small a lot of people dignitaries were present to witness the occasion but unfortunately uh, a lot of people were unable to enter into the auditorium because uh, it was closed and there was so much in there as it got to a point that some were being asked to even come out and yet they didn't want to come out guys let's watch this video we'll be back soon Caught up in a dangerous crush outside the famous O2 Academy in Brixton. Hundreds of fans of the Nigerian singer Ashake, some with tickets, some without. The fans pushed up against the door, eventually forcing it open. To the 3,000 people who broken the door outside, and the, the security the police have asked us to close this door. The frustrated audience didn't realize what was unfolding. In the foyer, order had broken down as security staff struggled to control the crowd. One woman described what it was like in the crush. I was so scared. They pushed from behind, from outside, they pushed, and I went down on top of me. I actually thought I was dead. I took my last breath and passed out. I couldn't breathe. And then the next thing is you woke, yes, up, in woke up in ambulance. A witness thought one problem was duplicate tickets bought from resellers. Okay guys, so the video we just watched is just a glimpse from what happened during that day. So, uh, this 33 year old woman died on Saturday due to injuries she suffered from the rush of a crowd at an Afrobeat concert in London two days earlier, official said. So, Rebecca Ikumelo, like I said, uh, succumbed to her injuries after she was caught in a massive surge at Asake's uh, Thursday show on the O2 Academy Music Hall in Brixton. That is the uh, Met Police make the announcement that shows that this woman lost her life. Not just her, also a 21-year-old girl and a 22-year-old girl too also suffered severe injuries that uh, they were also they are also now admitted at the hospital it is only this woman that unfortunately she lost her life so these two are critically injured after a horde of people without tickets forced entry into the london venue according to the police yes so the reason for this is that those that were outside didn't pay for it or didn't buy their tickets and so they had no right to enter to where the concert was being held but they were coming with full force and so uh, people some were stampeded and others in fact it was so horrible and so she was a dog she is a mother of some kids and also in fact a lot a lot a lot imagine your mother being in such a situation i don't see uh, i don't think that you, you you'll be happy about it well this asake has uh, immediately the news got to him he has come out with a lengthy an apology to show that in fact he's so much remorseful of what has happened and he wishes that time would go back to as it was and would have even made it free because of this so guys let's visit his straight account and see what he posted so this is what he said Coming from at Asake Music, he says, I am devastated by the news that Rebecca Ikumelo, who was in a critical condition since Thursday, has sadly passed away. My sincerest condolences to her loved ones at this time. Let us please keep her family in our prayers. I have spoken to them and will continue to do so. I am overwhelmed with grief and could never have imagined anything like this happening. My team and I are still awaiting the full debrief back from the venue management and the police to determine what exactly led to all the disruption caused and ultimately to Rebecca's passing. If you have any relevant information relating to this, please do reach out to the Metropolitan Police. 
thank you. So, guys, as usual, netizens, those that have built castles, mountains, uh, those that are even owing mansions on Twitter also came to reply. And these are some of the comments that came out up. Coming from Medal, at, uh, he says, reply to him, how is my money going to be refunded back? I don't know what money he's talking about. Jerry Wan Jaroski also replying to Asake. If you like this, please link my bio. I'll be releasing a song tomorrow. I promise you all it will be a hit. Yeah. Uh, as somebody is apologizing to others who are doing adverts. Coming from TDL, he also is saying, This might happen out of jealousy by some industry brats. Their glory don't wash off. Now they are jealous that you are taking over. Ayon Olofo. Son of ancestor, you just open mouth, wah, like donkey. Nigerian industry will destroy UK concert, Mugu. And uh, also, Tulu Obirin. I could have been Rebecca if not for God and my siblings. That went crazy, trying to get me out of the crowd when I fainted. ITV News had to reach out to us to get our side of the story. Asake has some answering to do because... At the end of the day, it is your show. Coming from Charlie Blank, we don't hear. Star, is that all you can say? How is about telling us that you will be supporting the family's feather, especially of this poor lady who came to see you and died, and the other two young lives that are critically ill? Your message is too on the surface. We need to hear more. Hmm. With exclamation mark. Ata dot ajwa. It's too on the surface for you because it doesn't concern you. It's a victim's family that matters. Deeper and important conversations will be held between him and the family. If you like, attend that meeting to hear more. Atajwa again. It's, uh, it says, coming from Ade Omo Ade, sad one with a heartbreak, a projection of the show outside for thousands of fans without tickets, who could get in could have saved you and your team the chaos injuries and unnecessary loss of life lesson learned our prayers and thoughts are with her family if anyone was thrown out of the show or humiliated badly by the security for trying to force their way into the show you guys will still criticize asake and the security team for being inhuman and to a real fan every one of you are big Hypocrite, things went south. Simple. R.I.P. It's not the artist, venue or security's fault. 3,000 people turned up without tickets and stormed the place. If you were there, trying to get in without a ticket, the girl's death is on your hands. Nobody else's. Guy, return my money and I hope Rebecca family sue you guys. And a lot more of a uh, convo that came beneath. In fact, if I tell you the whole thing, or if I say I'm reading the whole comment, I'm not sure today we will go home. So, guys, the death of Miss Ikumelo has really saddened the hearts of a lot of people, especially her children, as some even came out to wish her uh, RIP. And so, coming from two children who loved working with kids, in fact, uh, she was an honorable mother of two kids, and she really loved working. Her family said in the statement that she was well respected in the family for her care, kindness, and love. Responding to the death of Miss Ikumelo, who was from Newham, East Legon, uh, East London. So Asake, Land, Asake said he was devastated by the news and confirmed that he had spoken to her family. And what issued there we have no idea thank you guys for your time it is a bye for now